So I'm drinking a beer from Seven Sun Brewery from right here in Florida, and it's a sour, which is pretty perfect because that's how I feel about this book. Unfortunately, I'm not Olivia Rodriguez, so I can't just turn that feeling into an album that does insanely well, uh, but hopefully I can turn it into a review video that's, I don't know, somewhat coherent. We'll see. Hi, my name is Sarah Freshly, and welcome back to Freshly Read Books. So, what are we talking about today? Well, we are actually talking about No One Is Talking About This, the book by Patricia Lockwood. Uh, this, oh boy, how do I even begin? I didn't like it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not a fan of this book. Uh, I, in fact, I didn't just not like it. I, I disliked it. Like I actively disliked this book. And I don't think that that happens too often for me, especially like through booker season, because I feel like I usually can at least appreciate what it's doing. But this one was actively like annoying to me. <laughs> so let's start with what this book is about. So this follows a uh, protagonist that is unnamed throughout the book. She has this strong online presence and this is all due to the fact that she had a tweet that went viral that was, uh, can a dog be twins? That's the tweet, which is funny. Like I do think that that is a pretty good tweet to have chosen to be like the tweet that went viral by this person. Uh, because I could see that happening. So the first part of the book, the book split into two parts. The first part, the first half, is all very short little statements, um, observations. So it's it's meant to feel like the internet, where you get like things that feel like they could be tweets or uh, quick ideas, and you know some of them are funny and some of them are really sad and about something like traumatic and then the second half of the book part two is about the protagonist's sister who has a daughter and in utero the daughter is diagnosed with having the uh, same disease that the elephant man had which is already incredibly rare but to also be like diagnosed in, in utero i believe it was the first one to happen and i say that because this is based off of patricia lockwood's real life which i think it's her niece as well that this happens to that that's diagnosed with it uh but i could be wrong about that but i do know that 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 portion of the story is based off of you know this happening to a relative of hers in real life um so obviously that's incredibly sad like that's that's a very sad heartbreaking thing to happen and to go through and I understand that this book is trying to like juxtapose having the internet and which you is very quick and you only think about things for like a short amount of time before moving on to the next thing and all that and then uh, having the second part where it's something that she wouldn't want to put on the internet and she doesn't even really want to be on the internet because she's going through this big serious thing. And the reason why, um, oh, so I'm not splitting this into like different themes from the book for this one because I don't really have any, uh, I, I think I'm just going to, this is going to be more of a conversation <laughs> and that's a nice way of saying rant. I feel like this is just going to be a rant. And I don't want it to be that, but also I don't know how to organize my thoughts better than the few notes I've made myself. So here we go. So the main reason why I don't like this book is because it feels like it boils down to this like message of internet equals bad. And like how many things have we like seen and read and like how often do we see that viewpoint of of internet is bad and i think you can have a nuanced perspective of that but i don't think that that's what this book is like i get the point of like having that first section and then the second one but also isn't that kind of what life is like when you're going through something that's traumatic anyways like having frivolous conversations feels less important and sillier than it typically does if you're also going through something like 
if your parent is really sick in the hospital, then maybe going out to see your friends right after you visited them is going to feel not so great, you know, or or hearing them talk about like a smaller scale work problem is going to seem like you know, you should just enjoy enjoy this time you have. And while I I agree that like you you should cherish the moments that you have, you shouldn't just like waste them. It's also, you know, easier said than done. And I think that that's something that's said over and over again. And I don't think that's something unique to the internet. And I, I'm just, at this point, I'm kind of just like sick of seeing things that are portraying the internet in like this very one and like single-sided way. Because it's kind of like the internet is oftentimes just represented as a whole as like being just Twitter where like it's just really quick short thoughts you can't you have a limit on like how much you can say or when you know Vine was around and it's what like six seconds whatever that was and you have six seconds to do like a quick video and there was like all this commentary about how like oh the internet is like so fast and quick and and everybody has shorter attention spans because they only have to look at things for six seconds or when Snapchat was popular and it was like a certain number of seconds and that photo was gone forever and all all these different things like they, they're chosen to represent the internet as a whole despite the fact that there are obviously tons of other ways that the internet is represented there are communities of like aspiring authors that will write full like chapters of books and put them online and have other people that are reading like hundreds of pages and commenting about that and you know having a conversation back and forth and there's long form videos on youtube that'll be like over an hour long and still do really well and still be thought provoking and uh, in a way that the internet is never really portrayed as being it's always portrayed as being this super shallow thing so like i get it it's just does it need a hundred pages of a book to do this portrayal to to show the internet in this way to show this main character's connection with the internet in this way i don't really think so so yeah basically i i just feel like it's unfair to always represent the internet in in that way and I it's like the first couple of times that I read it or saw it in like a movie or whatever it was maybe a little bit interesting to think of it that way but now it's kind of just like okay and I feel like the main character is portrayed as such a um, caricature and I feel like it's always going after women and I'm just kind of sick of it like I'm sick of seeing this portrayal of like a female that's obsessed with the internet and then we get this transition to the second part of the book where we see a deeper side of her but for me I was so annoyed by that point that I had to wait that long until I got any sort of story or character development that I just didn't really like care as much about her character by the time we got to this story. Like I felt like I'm already close to the end of this book. Like why do I even, like I just, at this point I just wanna get through it. And that's how I had been thinking about it for so long. I didn't realize it was gonna have that shift in the middle. So the whole first half, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't read a whole book like this. Like, this is insane. And it wasn't until I was very close to the end of part one, I saw people talking in the Discord about like how part two was different. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> like at least I get something else. But by that point, you know, it was just kind of too little too late for me. It felt like less genuine because of all that I had to like read through to get to that point and in a way that I don't know I just I, I just didn't like the reading experience the second part was more readable but it, it was definitely sad like it's a very sad situation to read through um, but I had so little care for the main character and I I uh, what I knew about her sister wasn't great either. It was hard to like shift perspectives and be like, okay, like these are people outside of the internet and 
like now I can understand that part because I'm seeing some like I'm seeing past the who they are on the internet you know it's just like one of those stories that I feel like I see all the time and I'm I'm bored of it like I want something new brought to the table and I felt like this book didn't bring anything new to it and in fact it just gave me like a lot of stuff I'd already seen to the point where I was bored of it like 10 pages in and then I was like okay I still have so much left to go oh I'm sorry. I don't know what the general reception was for this book, but I do feel bad, like oddly that, I think I feel bad whenever I don't like a book at all. I don't know, it's weird to be like so uh, critical of a book because like, you know somebody put like a lot of work into this and not, not even just one person, but like several people put a lot of work into it. And, but I'm just here for my opinions and my opinions are no thank you. <laughs> And then another thing is like, I honestly don't know what the intended demographic for this book was because it doesn't feel like I'm in the demographic. I mean, it feels like I should be, but I really didn't like it. So it, I, it feels like I'm not, or that like people that grew up with the internet wouldn't be. Um, but I also don't think that people that are older than that demographic, I don't really feel like it was meant for them either. So I don't really know. I don't know who this, who this is intended for. Honestly, I'm just happy to have this video done because I feel like, like this is my second time filming this and both of them turned into uh, quite the rant. <laughs> but hopefully I can cut it up in a way that seems like it makes any sort of sense. And if it doesn't make sense, I'll just say how that's commentary on what the internet is. <laughs> but yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, oh gotta get the frog out uh if you don't know this is the freshly frog which helps me with reviews basically whether or not i would recommend this book to people um he can rib it one ribbit means i recommend it more than that means i super recommend it and no ribbits means i don't recommend it and uh frog <laughs> what you saying i don't recommend this book i feel like that was clear so the frog does not rib it today. Obviously, take that as you will. If you still want to read it, go for it. But it's not something that I would recommend. Uh, honestly, if you're looking for something with similar commentary, I would say watch Bo Burnham's Inside. I think that that has great commentary about the internet in general. Uh, the song Welcome to the Internet is like very similar to the first section of this book, but I think that it's done in a much better way. It's a lot funnier, it's a lot more entertaining. And then if you want to read like a nonfiction that's kind of about these general ideas, I would recommend uh, Present Shock by Douglas something that starts with an R. I'll put it here. And yeah, maybe I'll, I'll continue to do that. If, <laughs> if I don't recommend a book to read, I'll try to make a different recommendation that I think is doing similar things that that book is. Yeah, I like that idea. I, I think that that's, that that's good. And that's what I would wanna hear if I watched a whole video about somebody being like, don't read this. But um, obviously it's on the Booker long list. So it, it did something right, you know? <laughs> can't, can't really fault it for that. Uh, but as for me, didn't like the book. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being my least favorite book on the list this year, but I guess we'll see. We still have 11 books to go, depending on... I haven't decided yet if this is going to be the, the video that comes out first or Clara and the Sun for this week of uh, Booker, because we're doing two reviews this week. But I guess you know at this point, based off of whether or not that other review exists yet. <laughs> but anyways... Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little different, a little rantier than my normal, a little less uh, sectioned out nicely, but it was kind of fun to talk about. You know, when you read a book you don't like, you don't want to just like sit by yourself and like sulk over it. Like you want to talk about why you didn't like it. And maybe you can provide me with some new perspective. Did you like this book? If so, why? Or if you're more in agreement with me, you know, just back up my thoughts about it. I'd like that too. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Either way, I want to know your thoughts. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.